Questions 11 through 20 on the 2020 Grade 8 Goss Math Contest. Each Tuesday, a bus makes its first stop at Goss Public Library at 1 p.m. It continues to stop at the library every 20 minutes. Its last stop is at 6 p.m. What is the total number of times that the bus stops at Goss Public Library on Tuesday? 1 p.m. and then 1.20 and then 1.40 is basically how this is going to go. And then 2 p.m. and then 2.20 and so on. 2.40 and then 3 p.m., and then 4 p.m., and then 5 p.m., finally 6 p.m. is the last stop. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. 16 times. 11, the answer is A. In the addition shown, each of PQR is a digit. The value of P plus Q plus R. P, Q, R, Q, R, and then 1, 0, 1, 2. All right, let's figure this out. So r plus r is equal to 2, perhaps. So that means 2r would be 2, r would be 1. Okay, let's see if that works. If that's the case, then there's no carry. That means q plus q is 1. But these are integers, so that won't be possible. Because q plus, u, q plus q is 2q, and 2q cannot be equal to 1 or even 11 uh, because that would not give q as an integer. So, no problem. Let's go back to the r. r is not going to be 2 then. r is probably going to be 12. And that means 2r is 12. That means r is 6. So, if r is 6, that means that there's a carry. So, it's 6 plus 6, 2, and then you carry the 1. So, now we have a situation of 1 plus q plus q is equal to 1. So, that means either q is 0. Let's see. If q is 0, that would work, but then p would have to be 10, and p can't be 10 because p is a digit. So q is not 0. q is most likely going to be um, 11. This will most likely be 11. Is that, that's what I meant to say. So 2q is 10, so q is 5. So that means there's a carry again because 5 plus 5 plus 1 is 11. So the 1 goes down there and 1 goes up here. And then finally, 1 plus p is 10. So that means p is equal to 9. So they want q plus p plus r. That's going to be p is 9, q is 5, and r is 6. So that is going to be 20. So number 12, the answer is e. Emil and Olivia ran a race. Their race times totaled 1 hour and 52 minutes. If Emil's time was 4 minutes less than Olivia's time, how many minutes did it take Olivia to run the race? All right, so Emil's time is Olivia's time minus 4. And then their times together, if you add it up, is 1 hour and 52 minutes. So substitute this into there, and we get O minus 4 plus O is equal to 60 plus 52. And then that means 2O is equal to 116. So that means O is equal to 58. So 13, the answer would be C. Rectangle ABCD has a side length AB is equal to 16 and a diagonal length of 34. The perimeter is... Well, obviously, we need to figure out that side. So using Pythagoras, 16 squared plus BC squared is equal to 34 squared, like that. So that means BC squared would be 1156 minus 256, and therefore that's 900 BC squared. BC, therefore, is 30. So I'll put 30 here. This is 30, and then this is 16. So the perimeter, we can easily figure that out. 2 times 16 plus 2 times 30. So that's 32 plus 60, and that is 92. So number 14, the answer is D. Francesca chooses an integer from the list negative 4, negative 2, until 6, and then a second integer that is larger than the first. How many such pairs of integers can she choose so that the sum of the pair is 3? Let's start with negative 4. If negative 4 is the first integer, the second integer, when added, would give you 3. 
And that means the second integer has to be 7. Well, there is no 7, so that can't work. How about if we have negative 3 as our first integer? Adding it to a second integer, we have to get 3. That means the second integer is 6. That works, so that is our first pair, minus 3 and 6. And then similarly, you'll get minus 2 and 5, minus 1 and 4, 0 and 3, and then 1 and 2. Then what happens is you'll get 2 and 1, but this doesn't qualify because the second integer has to be larger than the first. And in this case, the second integer is less than the first. So the only ones that qualify are those, and there's five of those. So five pairs in number 15, therefore, is B. In the diagram, QRS is an isosceles right angle triangle with QR equals SR, and QRS is 90. Line segment PT intersects SQ at U, and SR at V. If PUQ equals RVT equals Y, the value of Y is. All right, so this is isosceles, right? QR is equal to SR. So if this is 90, then this is 45, and this is 45. That's pretty straightforward. And then by opposite angles, this is Y, and this is Y. So that in that tiny little triangle, the angles are 45, Y, and Y, and that, of course, equals 180, as always. So 2Y is 135, Y is 67.5. Number 16. The answer is C. The point totals that Mark scored in the five basketball games were X, 13, 11, Y, and 12. How many different possible medians are there for these points? 11, 12, 13, and then some X and Y. If the X and the Y were uh, both less than 11, our median would be 11, the middle value. If we have a situation where we have 11, 12, and 13, and then x, uh, y goes in there, let's say, that means since these are all integer values, um, or I'm assuming they're integer, but they're points, right? You can't score half a point. So they're obviously integers. So that means y is most likely either 11 or 12. In either case, the median would be either 11 or 12. And in a very similar way, if x was placed there and y was placed there, then the same story would be true. x would be, could be either 11 or 12, and the median would be either 11 or 12. And then another way of doing this would be to put uh, x and y out here, and that way the median would be 13. So the possible values of the median are 11, uh, let's see here, 12, or 13. There's no other possible value, so that gives me three values, one being 11, one being 12, and one being 13. And therefore, number 17, the answer is C. Three different views of the same cube are shown. The symbol on the face opposite circle is... All right, let's try to figure this out. Let's start with that one. So the square goes up top, the circle is here, and that square with the x in it is there. That takes care of that one. Now in a very careful way, let's try to make that one. So the circle and plus sign I have to place somewhere, okay? I think the circle can go here, that's the one that's shaded, and then the plus sign will go here on the side. And then I only have one left, so I got this, the plus sign and the square with the x in it. And therefore, I think that square that's shaded goes on the bottom. So I'm pretty confident this is how you do it. So the symbol opposite this, well, here is that. That's on the back face. And therefore, the symbol opposite would be on the front face. And the front face was this guy right here. So that would be C for number 18. x is 20% of 50, 40 is 20% of y, 40 is z percent of 50, what is x plus y plus z? x is 20% of 50. So x would be 0 0.2 times 50, therefore x is 10. 40 is 20% of y. So y is 40 divided by 0.2, so therefore y would be 200. 
And then finally, 40 is Z percent of 50, so it would be Z over 100 times 50. That makes it 40 is equal to Z 0.5, and then Z, therefore, is um, 80. Yeah, because 40 is 80 percent of, of 50. All right, so X plus Y plus Z, X is 10, Y is 200, and Z is 80. So that is 290. Number 19, the answer is D. If A and B are positive integers and 20 over 9 is equal to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus A over B, what is the least possibility of A plus B? Let's first put this fraction together. So 1, one plus A over B. So top and bottom by B getting a common denominator. And that's going to be B plus A over B. So invert and multiply that. And that's going to be B over B plus A. And then get a common denominator, which is B plus A plus B over B plus A. And that's 20 over 19. Okay. And therefore, if I cross multiply, I get 20B plus 20A is equal to 19A plus 38b, so that's going to be a is equal to 18b. They want the least possible value. Okay, so let's start with the smallest possible positive integer, which is 1 for b. And if that's the case, a would be 18, and then therefore a plus b would be 19. Number 20, the answer is b.